transmute flowers Ooh. out of thin air, right? Could just be sleight of hand, some cheap trick like it's not, then I suppose all that's uh. a real thing, huh? Whoa, that's super flashback. <laughs> Well, ten years ago, look at that, it's Mama! Are you in here messing up your dad's mm. study again? So they learn how to do alchemy through reading, man. That's, uh, perseverance right there. It's great! You definitely take after your father. My little geniuses, you make me so proud! Epidemics left the country. Oh. And it's odd, too, because look how far away they live in... live from civilization. That's what I'm trying to say. So how the hell did she even get sick, but whatever. Poor mommy is dead, and then... Daddy's God! Trisha, huh? Oh, Woodry! Wow. Uh, Come on, Ed, drink your milk too. No. <laughs> if you don't, I was about to say that. Like you, you better drink some milk or you'll be a midget. Explains why he's so tiny. Hey, so. Why are they back home? Do they live home alone? I thought the Rock Bells kind of did a. Sort of adoptions with them. We trained with an alchemy teacher to prepare our bodies as well as our minds. That's awesome. It took years of constant effort, but we wanted so many cool characters in the show. And we're ready. Water 35 liters, carbon 20 kilograms. You gotta love the aesthetics here. The metaphor. I like how he actually got the ingredients of, of what we have, or what makes us human. It's weird. And then you're playing with e evil voodoo. You're playing with it now! You don't know what you're doing! Oh, man. Oh shit. Who are you? I am a universe. I'm God. What? I am true. I am all. I am one. And I am also Whoa. you. Is this what you wanted, isn't it? I will show you the truth. See ya. Whoa, I wish I knew what he was seeing. For an instant, it all became clear. The truth. Everything. It was like the door's floating. I never even noticed that before. I've already shown you all I can for the toll you Whoa. Toll, what toll? This. Surely you knew. Yeah, you gave up a leg, my guy. It's the law of equivalent exchange. Right, young alchemist. Please don't look at mommy. Ah, oh, don't look at mommy. Ooh, look at that thing. Ah, oh, that's not mommy. Ah, oh, what are you doing? Cover your mouth. For now, anyway, they're shipping me back to Eastern Command this afternoon. Ah, Hughes! Next time you come here, I expect you to have made Brigadier Ooh, someday. <laughs> someday. I'm guessing it hasn't reached uh -huh. your office yet. No. Shing Yi's alchemy, what's that? Apparently, that's something they have. Hmm? To be honest, no idea. You don't know okay. it? Okay. No, it's the first I've heard of it. And I have certainly uh -huh. seen our share. Wait, we walked away. We didn't even get an answer. Four years earlier. Oh, wait, Roy. Lieutenant Colonel, they're 
not in back what? What is this? I thought they burnt the house down. Yes. Oh, this is literally like after. Oh yeah, look at Edward, my dude. He's broken. He'll receive privileges and access to otherwise restricted materials. Given time, they may be able to find their bodies back. Equilibrium exchange. Oh, I love this show. My door, half dead and covered in blood. I went over to their house to see what had happened. Oh no. That That's not mommy! Oh my god, look at Hawkeye! I never noticed she had really short hair back then! And look at Winray! <laughs> How are you shaking your head? Whoa. Oh, right, right, her parents. Hmm. Sit in that chair wallowing in self pity, or will you stand up and seize the chance that the seize today? To become a soldier because there's someone I have. To oh, that's Roy. <laughs> well, I guess this is goodbye, young lady. Oh, look at her now. She's shaking her hand. God, I love Winry. She's best girl. The best. I've never seen anyone look so defeated. That's what you saw. No, there was. Oh, that's awesome. Love the poetry in this episode. How long will the surgery and rehabilitation take? I'd say about three years. Whoa. Progress. I'll do it. Whoa. Ah, look at them training. There we go. Brother. Ah, cool. So you didn't see it, did you? See what? Oh, the other side. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, those are some big ass doors. Jesus. Why do you even need doors that big? <laughs> That's a fewer. That's, um, someone important. Dude, wicked. Dude, he's breaking all sorts of laws. Whoa, why did you want Huh? Way to assassinate a VIP. <laughs> In the future you might want to rethink the way you conduct these examinations. That's good. You clearly have nerves of steel, young man. But I'd say you still have much to learn about what? the world. Hmm? <gasps> Ooh. <laughs> you put on quite a show, my naive young alchemist. Good luck with the rest of your exam. When did he Yeah, touche. And just like that, Mr. Recruit, whatever, certified. Oh, <laughs> full metal. Oh, so cool. <laughs> ah, what a really cool episode. This, this show is just brilliant, is amazing, is legendary. This is one of the best uh, storytelling ever in anime, at least to me. Um, I'm extremely biased to this show. As I said before, yeah, I've seen this show, but it's been forever and a day. I think almost to 10 years. This is the last time I watched this show. So as far as big picture, yeah, I know how the show is going to end, or at least the direction of the show. But the smaller stuff, yeah, I, I completely forget about that stuff. So it's almost like rewatching the show like it's uh, brand new again. Today's episode was just brilliant. It was just a quick little glance at uh, the past of what made uh, Edward the Full Metal Alchemist. We got to see them uh, uh, pretty much uh, learn how to do alchemy through their father's uh, books. You know, time passed by, their mother dies. They felt like, you know what, hey, look, from the little that we learned, we could probably bring her back. Uh, definitely very naive children not knowing uh, the dark, dark thing they were about to do. So pretty much today's episode was the origin of Edward Eric, a.k.a. the Full Metal Alchemist. You know, we, we know the origin of Batman, Spider-Man, you know, Goku, you name it. But this was it. This is how we learn how Edward became who he is. Pretty much when he was young, he, uh, I don't know, dabbled on his dad's uh, books. 
He learned how to do alchemy. Time passed by, and then their, you know, their mother died. So both Edward and Alphonse figured, hey, we probably could bring her back through alchemy. Not knowing how dangerous that uh, thought uh, would be. They go on with their experiments of trying to bring her back. Only, you know, for Alphonse to lose his body. While Edward was like in the other side, he met, I don't know, the shadowy figure. That particular person showed uh, Edward the other side of the door. Pretty much showing him how to be able to bring back Alphonse. Or at least bring back his soul. Or like that human transportation thing. But of course... You know, this show is teaching us that there's always an equivalent exchange. You know, hey, here's me lecturing you something. Here's me giving you information. But you got to give me something back for it. I don't know how knowledge for a leg is equivalent, but I don't know, whatever. Eventually, Edward gained consciousness, and when he came back, he was able to pull back Alphonse's soul, put it into a, a knight's armor. Uh, but by doing so, again, equivalent exchange, by bringing back Alphonse, Eric loses an, an arm. I, I just, I love that. I love that about Full Metal. That you gotta give something to get something back, right? So pretty much we got to see that. We got to see uh, how uh, eventually through that devastating and, and awful situation of losing their limbs, losing their bodies, and then thinking that they were going to bring them back their mom. It, it, they did bring their back their mom, but it wasn't what they thought it was going to be. And then, of course, Edward was recruited uh, through the military, and then... Of course, it's going to use that advantage of learning uh, more information on how to, you know, bring back their limbs and, you know, bring back Alphonse for a body. And, of course, you know, Edward became a dog of the military <laughs> and the title Full Metal. Yeah, it was a really, really brilliant episode. I love it. It's his freaking origin. Uh, they did it so well. Another cool thing that happened in today's episode was extremely subtle, and especially it is... Uh, I, I want to say season building or world building in a way where uh, you have Hughes investigating what McDougal did in the previous episode and he was kind of giving that information to Roy. This is something that's very, very important in uh, the future episodes as Hughes is digging into information that is very confidential. <laughs> Guys, this is only the beginning of the series. I uh, can't wait to keep uh, diving on. It's all right. That about wraps up uh, today's episode. Make sure you leave me any positive or negative feedback down in that comment section. Feel free to like this video or subscribe to my channel if you haven't before. And as always, God bless you. Thanks so much for watching and farewell for now. Bye-bye.